Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. This episode we are going to look into something which isn't really a myth but was suggested in the comments on the last video and I think it is a very useful thing to note and that is what blocks can we place above a beacon without the beam breaking. Now it's fairly well known that you can place glass above a beacon but there are other blocks as well for example a stone fence or like we discovered on Hermitcraft you can put the daylight sensors on top of the beacons as well. But what we want to find out is all of the blocks that don't break the beacon beam and the only way to do that is to test them all one by one. We have now tested all of the blocks in the game and that did not take as long as I expected however my idea to put the blocks onto these two platforms have left our results a little bit clustered so I decided to reorganize them so we could have a look at what blocks the beam can shine through. So as you would expect glass is one of them and all the different types of stained glass including the panes and also carpets the beam can shine through. It can also go through another beacon block so you can just place one on top like that and it will go through. There's the item frames, the signs and the mob heads. Now this one is a little peculiar. The beam can shine through lava but it can't shine through water. And I've got a feeling that's because water adjusts light levels. But there's a, an interesting result right there. The beam can shine through fences, it can shine through the cobble walls. We've got pistons, trapdoor, the two different torches, cauldron, fence gate and brewing stand it can go through all of those and the bed you can't place on top of a beacon but if you put down some other blocks then break them the beam will happily shine through the bed as well then over on this side we got the vines ladders the trip wire hook the two different buttons all types of chest the iron bars the hopper the daylight sensor the end portal frame which is an interesting one and the enchanting table and anvil it can shine through all of these now there are a few blocks that I was expecting it to shine through which it didn't that is ice and glowstone, should break that before it turns into water, cobwebs and leaves. I just wanted to clarify that the beam wouldn't go through any of those block types. So Psyguy Ryan has looked into the game code and he's found out that what a beacon does is it checks all of the blocks above the beam to see if any of them are opaque and if they are it cancels the beam. So that means that all of these block types right here are classified as opaque and all of these ones are not which is interesting because it is the same mechanic that a zombie uses when it's burning in daylight so it will check above itself to see if there are any opaque blocks and if that is so it will not be set on fire which means if a zombie is underneath any of these blocks for example lava or a chest it can actually burn in daylight. So we've learned all we set out to learn this episode and now I want to share with you a suggestion that I saw in the comments on one of my videos that I thought was fantastic and this was the perfect opportunity to share it with you. If we put a stained coloured glass on top of a beacon then it could change the beacon beam colour. Now that is a fantastic suggestion and something that I think would fit very well into Minecraft. It means we could use different stained glass blocks to create different beacon beams. It's aesthetically pleasing. It allows people to do more things. And what I'm going to do is post this over at Minecraft Suggestions, which is a Reddit. So look in the description box down below for a link to that Reddit. And if you like the idea, come over and give it an upvote. And who knows, maybe the people at Mojang will see and they could possibly implement this, which I think would be a really nice feature to have. So in the last episode of Myth Busting, I asked you all to take a vote and 65% of you got the answer correct. Yes, hydration does affect crop growth. But that is it for this episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. If you have enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. It is always appreciated. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.